this video, we're talking about one of the fundamental properties of algebra, which is called the associative property. And the associative property works for addition and multiplication, and it tells us that we can group things together in whichever order we want, and we'll still get the correct answer. So for example here, essentially we have a plus b plus c, the associative property tells us that if we group together a plus b, and then we add c to the result of the group, we'll get the same answer as grouping together b plus c, and then adding a to the result of this b plus c group. So in other words, no matter how we've grouped it, we're still going to end up with a plus b plus c on the left and a plus b plus c on the right. They're going to be equal to each other. We can do this with real numbers and see that it's true. So for here, we have 3 plus 2 plus 1 on both sides. We've grouped together the 3 and 2 and said add the 3 and the 2 together first. Over here on the right hand side, we've said add the 2 and the 1 together first. It doesn't matter how we do it over here on the left, we get 3 plus 2 is 5, so we have 5 plus 1. Over here on the right hand side, we have 3 plus, and then inside the parentheses, we have 3. No matter how we do it, you can see that we're going to get 6 on the left and 6 on the right. So no matter how we grouped these terms together, we still got the same answer, because the associative property tells us that the grouping doesn't matter when we're dealing with addition or multiplication. So looking at some examples for multiplication, we have a times b times c, and whether we do a times b first and then multiply that result by c, or if we do b times c first and then multiply that result by a, it doesn't matter, we're still going to get a times b times c equal to a times b times c. The associative property tells us that the grouping, the order, doesn't matter. If we look at this with real numbers, we can see why it's true. Here we've grouped together the 3 and the 2 on the left, and on the right we've grouped together the 2 and the 1. So on the left hand side, 3 times 2 is 6, so we'll get 6 times 1. On the right hand side, 2 times 1 is 2, so we'll get 3 times 2. And of course that just gives us 6 on the left and 6 on the right, so they're equal to one another. So when it comes to addition and multiplication, the associative property tells you that the order of the addition and the order of the multiplication don't matter.